Michael, uh, because this time um, we the sample we are going up to rush, so I actually didn't uh, prepare the cable between these two box for the power part. So let me tell you how to do the job. First, uh, you have uh, you have this this uh, PWU and uh, you have PWU here two interface, right? This is the AC input, right? Uh, then you have a cap. Okay, you have a cap like this, uh, more or less like this way. This one, this one. This is this is one of the input for the AC part, right? Now you can see that uh, we have uh, here the one, two, three, right? Two is for the uh, for the PE and uh, three. Three is for the L. Uh, one is for the N. Okay. Three for L. One for uh, one for N. Uh, two for PE. Okay. Three lines. I have two lines here, but uh, because I'm only in the lab. But if you are in outdoor, you need to give the cable. Um, normally, uh, in the volume cargo, I will give you the cable because you know this. This <coughs> sample is prepared for Chinese New Year. It's too rush for me. You know? uh, so then, uh, when you prepare this, uh, here this is on. Uh, when you prepare the cable, you just connect to the connect to the the system. Then you connect your cable to the AC power. Then it will work. So you can see that it's, uh, it's running, and then this is power on. And here, if it's, if the green line is blinking, and it's, uh, this means charging the battery. Now, if it is stable, uh, green, always green, that means battery is full. Okay. Mm, so if you take if you take out the AC power. Then it's running. It's running on based on the red line, right? So it's shaking, right? Because because right now it's running based on the the battery. Now, but it's, if it is always red, it's, there's some problem, okay? But uh, now we are running. Everything is fine.